Ceuta is a Spanish autonomous city on the north coast of Africa. Bordered by Morocco, it lies along the boundary between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. It is one of nine populated Spanish territories in Africa and, along with Malia, one of two populated Spanish territories on mainland Africa. It was part of the province of Cadiz until March 14, 1995. On that date, statutes of autonomy were passed for both Ceuta and Melilla. Ceuta, like Melilla and the Canary Islands, was classified as a free port before Spain joined the European Union. Its population consists of Christians, Muslims, and small minorities of Sephardic Jews and ethnic Sindhis from modern-day Pakistan. Spanish is the only official language. Daria Arabic is also spoken by 15 to 20 percent of the population. The name Abila has been said to have been a Punic name for Jebel Musa, the southern pillar of Hercules. The name of the mountain was in fact Habana or Aben Haikyu, in reference to the nearby Bay of Benzu. The name was Hellenized variously as Apini, Abila, Abile, Ablix, and Abel Steely and in Latin as Abila Mons or Abila Columna. The settlement below Jebel Musa was later renamed for the seven hills around the site, collectively referred to as the Seven Brothers. In particular, the Roman stronghold at the site took the name Fort at the Seven Brothers. This was gradually shortened to Septem or, occasionally, Septem or Septa. These clipped forms continued as Berber Sabda and Arabic Sapnan or Sabda, which themselves became Ceuta in Portuguese and Spanish. Phoenician archaeological site, dated to the 7th century BC, Next to the Cathedral of Ceuta controlling access between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, the Strait of Gibraltar is an important military and commercial choke point. The Phoenicians realized the extremely narrow isthmus joining the peninsula of Almina to the African mainland makes Ceuta eminently defensible and established an outpost there early in the first millennium BC. The Greek geographers recorded by variations of Abila. The ancient name of nearby Jebel Musa. Beside Calpi, the other pillar of Hercules now known as the Rock of Gibraltar, the Phoenicians established cart at what is now San Roque, Spain. Other good anchorages nearby became Phoenician and then Carthaginian ports at what are now Tangiers and Cadiz. After Carthage's destruction in the Punic Wars, most of northwest Africa was left to the Roman client states of Numidia and, around Abila, Mauritania. Punic culture continued to thrive in what the Romans knew as Septem. After the Battle of Thapsus in 46 BC, Caesar and his heirs began annexing North Africa directly as Roman provinces but, as late as Augustus, most of Septem's Berber residents continued to speak and write in Punic. Caligula assassinated the Mauritanian King Ptolemy in AD 40 and seized his kingdom, which Claudius organized in AD 42, placing Septem in the province of Tingitana and raising it to the level of a colony. It subsequently was Romanized and thrived into the late 3rd century, trading heavily with Roman Spain and becoming well known for its salted fish. Roads connected it overland with Tingis and Volubilis. Under Theodosius I in the late 4th century, Septem still had 10,000 inhabitants, nearly all Christian citizens speaking African Romance, a local dialect of Latin. The Arab Baths of Ceuta, built between the 11th and 13th centuries the Marinid Walls, built by Abu Sa'id Uthman II in 1328 Vandals, probably invited by Count Boniface as protection against the Empress Dowager. Crossed the strait near Tingis around 425 and swiftly overran Roman North Africa. There King Gazeric focused his attention on the rich lands around Carthage, although the Romans eventually accepted his conquests and he continued to raid them anyway, he soon lost control of Tingis and Septem in a series of Berber revolts. When Justinian decided to reconquer the Vandal lands, his victorious general Belisarius continued along the coast, making Septem a westernmost outpost of the Byzantine Empire around 533. Unlike the former ancient Roman administration, however, eastern Rome did not push far into hinterland and made the more defensible Septem their regional capital in place of Tingis. Epidemics, less capable successors and overstretched supply lines forced a retrenchment and left Septem isolated. It is likely that its count was obliged to pay homage to the Visigoth kingdom in Spain in the early 7th century. There are no reliable contemporary accounts of the end of the Islamic conquest of the Maghreb around 710. Instead, the rapid Muslim conquest of Spain produced romances concerning Count Julian of Septem and his betrayal of Christendom in revenge for the dishonor that befell his daughter at King Roderick's court. Allegedly with Julian's encouragement and instructions, the Berber convert and freedman Tariq ibn Ziyad took his garrison from Tangiers. 
Across the strait and overran the Spanish so swiftly that both he and his master Musa bin Nusair fell afoul of a jealous caliph, who stripped them of their wealth and titles. After the death of Julian, sometimes also described as a king of the Gomorrah Berbers, Berber converts to Islam took direct control of what they called Subta. It was then destroyed during their great revolt against the Umaway Caliphate around 740. Subta subsequently remained a small village of Muslims and Christians surrounded by ruins until its resettlement in the 9th century by Majakas, chief of the Majkasa Berber tribe, who started the short-lived Banu Izam dynasty. His great-grandson briefly allied his tribe with the Idrisids, but Banu Izam rule ended in 931 when he abdicated in favor of Abida Araman III, the Umaway Caliph of Cordoba. Ceuta reverted to Moorish Andalusian rule in 927 along with Malia, and later Tangier, in 951. Chaos ensued with the fall of the Caliphate of Cordoba in 1031. Following this, Ceuta and Muslim Iberia were controlled by successive North African dynasties. Starting in 1084, the Almoravid Berbers ruled the region until 1147, when the Almohads conquered the land. Apart from Ibn Hud's rebellion in 1232, they ruled until the Tunisian Hsids established control. The Hsids' influence in the west rapidly waned, and Ceuta's inhabitants eventually expelled them in 1249. After this, a period of political instability persisted, under competing interests from the kingdoms of Fez and Granada as well as autonomous rule under the native Banu al-Azafi. The Fez finally conquered the region in 1387, with assistance from Aragon. Representation of Prince Henry the Navigator during the conquest of Ceuta in Azalejos at the Sao Bento Railway Station 1572 Depiction of Ceuta The Royal Walls of Ceuta, built from 962 to the 18th century, and Navigable Moat's Eclectic House of the Dragons. Built in 1905 on the morning of August 21, 1415, King John I of Portugal led his sons and their assembled forces in a surprise assault that would come to be known as the conquest of Ceuta. The battle was almost anticlimactic, because the 45,000 men who traveled on 200 Portuguese ships caught the defenders of Ceuta off guard and suffered only eight casualties. By nightfall the town was captured. On the morning of 22nd of August, Ceuta was in Portuguese hands. Alvaro Vaz de Almada, first count of Avranche was asked to hoist what was to become the flag of Ceuta, which is identical to the flag of Lisbon, but in which the coat of arms derived from that of the Kingdom of Portugal was added to the center. The original Portuguese flag and coat of arms of Ceuta remained unchanged. And the modern-day Ceuta flag features the configuration of the Portuguese shield. John's son Henry the navigator distinguished himself in the battle, being wounded during the conquest. The looting of the city proved to be less profitable than expected for John I, he decided to keep the city to pursue further enterprises in the area. From 1415 to 1437, Pedro de Menezes became the first governor of Ceuta. The Benamaran Sultan started the 1418 siege but was defeated by the first governor of Ceuta before reinforcements arrived in the form of John, constable of Portugal and his brother Henry the Navigator who were sent with troops to defend Ceuta. Under King John I's son, Duarte, the colony at Ceuta rapidly became a drain on the Portuguese treasury. Trans-Saharan trade journeyed instead to Tangier. It was soon realized that without the city of Tangier, possession of Ceuta was worthless. In 1437, Duarte's brothers Henry the Navigator and Fernando, the Saint Prince persuaded him to launch an attack on the Marinid Sultanate. The resulting Battle of Tangier, led by Henry, was a debacle. In the resulting treaty, Henry promised to deliver Ceuta back to the Marinids in return for allowing the Portuguese army to depart unmolested, which he reneged on. Possession of Ceuta would indirectly lead to further Portuguese expansion. The main area of Portuguese expansion, at this time, was the coast of the Maghreb, where there was grain, cattle, sugar and textiles, as well as fish, hides, wax, and honey. Ceuta had to endure alone for 43 years, until the position of the city was consolidated with the taking of Casares Segur, Arzala and Tangier by the Portuguese. The city was recognized as a Portuguese possession by the Treaty of Alcasovas and by the Treaty of Tordesillas. In the 1540s the Portuguese began building the royal walls of Ceuta as they are today including bastions, a navigable moat and a drawbridge. Some of these bastions are still standing, like the bastions of Coraza Alta, Bandera, and Malaquines. Luis de Camoes lived in Ceuta between 1549 and 1551, losing his right eye in battle, which influenced his work of poetry Os Lugidas. 
In 1578 King Sebastian of Portugal died at the Battle of Alcacer Quibir in what is today northern Morocco, without descendants, triggering the 1580 Portuguese succession crisis. His granduncle, the elderly Cardinal Henry, succeeded him as king, but Henry also had no descendants, having taken holy orders. When the Cardinal King died two years after Sebastian's death, three grandchildren of King Manuel I of Portugal claimed the throne. Infanta Caterina, Duchess of Braganza, Antonio, Prior of Cratu, and Philip II of Spain, who would prevail and be crowned King Philip I of Portugal in 1581, uniting the two crowns and overseas empires in which is historically referred as the Iberian Union. During the Iberian Union 1580-1640, Ceuta attracted many residents of Spanish origin. Ceuta became the only city of the Portuguese Empire that sided with Spain, when Portugal regained its independence in the Portuguese Restoration War of 1640. Fort of the Disnarigato, built in the 19th century. It houses a museum. Bastion of La Corraza Alta on the shore of the Playa del Chorlo Beach on January 1, 1668, King Afonso VI of Portugal recognized the formal allegiance of Ceuta to Spain and formally ceded Ceuta to King Carlos II of Spain by the Treaty of Lisbon. The city was attacked by Moroccan forces under Malay Ismail during the siege of Ceuta. During the longest siege in history, the city underwent changes leading to the loss of its Portuguese character. While most of the military operations took place around the royal walls of Ceuta, there were also small-scale penetrations by Spanish forces at various points on the Moroccan coast, and seizure of shipping in the Strait of Gibraltar. During the Napoleonic Wars, Spain allowed Britain to occupy Ceuta. Occupation began in 1810, with Ceuta being returned at the conclusion of the wars. Disagreements regarding the border of Ceuta resulted in the Hispano-Moroccan War, which ended at the Battle of Tetuan. A street in Ceuta, c. 1905-1910 In July 1936, General Francisco Franco took command of the Spanish Army of Africa and rebelled against the Spanish Republican government. His military uprising led to the Spanish Civil War of 1936-1939. Franco transported troops to mainland Spain in an airlift using transport aircraft supplied by Germany and Italy. Ceuta became one of the first casualties of the uprising. General Franco's rebel nationalist forces seized Ceuta, while at the same time the city came under fire from the air and sea forces of the official Republican government. The Lano Amarillo Monument was erected to honor Francisco Franco, it was inaugurated on July 13, 1940. The tall obelisk has since been abandoned, but the shield symbols of the Falonghe and Imperial Eagle remain visible. Following the 1947 partition of India, a substantial number of Sindhi Hindus from current-day Pakistan settled in Ceuta, adding up to a small Hindu community that had existed in Ceuta since 1893, connected to Gibraltar's. When Spain recognized the independence of Spanish Morocco in 1956, Ceuta and the other plazas de Soberania remained under Spanish rule. Spain considered them integral parts of the Spanish state, but Morocco has disputed this point. Culturally, modern Ceuta is part of the Spanish region of Andalusia. It was attached to the province of Cadiz until 1925, the Spanish coast being only 20 kilometers away. It is a cosmopolitan city, with a large ethnic Arab Berber Muslim minority as well as Sephardic Jewish and Hindu minorities. On November 5, 2007, King Juan Carlos I visited the city, sparking great enthusiasm from the local population and protests from the Moroccan government. It was the first time a Spanish head of state had visited Ceuta in 80 years. Since 2010, Ceuta have declared the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Adha, or Feast of the Sacrifice, an official public holiday. It is the first time a non-Christian religious festival has been officially celebrated in Spain since the Reconquista. Map of Ceuta Perspective View of the Strait of Gibraltar facing eastwards, Spain and Gibraltar on the left, Morocco and Ceuta on the right. The vertical dimension is exaggerated by a factor of three. Ceuta is separated by 17 kilometers from the province of Cádiz on the Spanish mainland by the Strait of Gibraltar and it shares a 6. 4 kilometers land border with McFindic Prefecture in the Kingdom of Morocco. It has an area of 18. 5 square kilometers. It is dominated by Monte Eniera, a hill along its western frontier with Morocco, which is guarded by a Spanish military fort. Monte Hacho on the peninsula of Almina overlooking the port is one of the possible locations of the southern pillar of the Pillars of Hercules of Greek legend. 
The Ceuta Peninsula has been recognized as an important bird area by BirdLife International because the site is part of a migratory bottleneck or choke point at the western end of the Mediterranean for large numbers of raptors, storks and other birds flying between Europe and Africa. These include European honey buzzards, black kites, short-toed snake eagles, Egyptian vultures, griffin vultures, black storks, white storks and Odwan's gulls. Ceuta has a maritime influence subtropical slash Mediterranean climate, similar to nearby Spanish and Moroccan cities such as Tarifa, Algeciras or Tangiers. The average diurnal temperature variation is relatively low, the average annual temperature is 18. 8 degrees Celsius with average yearly highs of 21. 4 degrees Celsius and lows of 15. 7 degrees Celsius though the Ceuta weather station has only been in operation since 2003. Ceuta has relatively mild winters for the latitude, while summers are warm yet milder than in the interior of southern Spain, due to the moderating effect of the Straits of Gibraltar. Summers are very dry, but yearly precipitation is still at 849 mm, which could be considered a humid climate if the summers were not so arid. The Palacio de la Asamblea de Ciuta is the seat of the Assembly of Ciuta. Since 1995, Ciuta is, along with Melilla, one of the two autonomous cities of Spain. Ciuta is known officially in Spanish as Ciudad Autónoma de Ciuta, with a rank between a standard municipality and an autonomous community. Ceuta is part of the territory of the European Union. The city was a free port before Spain joined the European Union in 1986. Now it has a low tax system within the Economic and Monetary Union of the European Union. Since 1979, Ceuta has held elections to its 25-seat assembly every four years. The leader of its government was the mayor until the autonomy statute provided for the new title of mayor-president. As of 2011, the People's Party won 18 seats, keeping Juan Jesus Vives as mayor-president, which he has been since 2001. The remaining seats are held by the Regionalist Cabalas Coalition and the Socialist Workers' Party. Owing to its small population, Ciuta elects only one member of the Congress of Deputies, the lower house of the Spanish legislature. As of the November 2019 election, this post is held by Maria Teresa Lopez of Vox. Ciuta is subdivided into 63 barriadas, such as Barriada de Birizu, Barriada de P. Alfonso, Barriada del Sarkal, and El Hacho. Ciuta Products Tree Map, 2020 The Moroccan Mountain of Jebel Musa, as viewed from Benzu. It is also known as the Dead Woman because of its silhouette. The official currency of Ciuta is the euro. It is part of a special low-tax zone in Spain. Ceuta is one of two Spanish port cities on the northern shore of Africa, along with Melilla. They are historically military strongholds, free ports, oil ports, and also fishing ports. Today the economy of the city depends heavily on its port and its industrial and retail centers. Ceuta Heliport is now used to connect the city to mainland Spain by air. Lidl, Decathlon and El Corte Ingles have branches in Ceuta. There is also a casino. Border trade between Ceuta and Morocco is active because of advantage of tax-free status. Thousands of Moroccan women are involved in the cross-border porter trade daily, as portadoras. The Moroccan dirham is used in such trade, even though prices are marked in euros. The city's port of Ceuta receives high numbers of ferries each day from Algeciras in Andalusia in the south of Spain. The closest airport is Sanya Ramel Airport in Morocco. A single road border checkpoint to the south of Ceuta near Fnadic allows for cars and pedestrians to travel between Morocco and Ceuta. An additional border crossing for pedestrians exists between Benzu and Belayonek on the northern coast. The rest of the border is closed and inaccessible. There is a bus service throughout the city, and while it does not pass into neighboring Morocco, it services both frontier crossings. The following hospitals are located within Ceuta. As of 2018, its population was 85,144. Due to its location, Ceuta is home to a mixed ethnic and religious population. The two main religious groups are Christians and Muslims. As of 2006 approximately 50% of the population was Christian and approximately 48% Muslim. However, by 2012, the portion of Ceuta's population that identify as Roman Catholic was 68.0% while the portion of Ceuta's population that identify as Muslim was 28.3%. As of a 2018 estimate, around 67.8% of the city's population were born in Ceuta. Spanish is the primary and official language of the enclave. 
Moroccan Arabic is widely spoken. Remains of the late Roman Christian Basilica and Necropolis of Ceuta, dated to the mid-4th century AD, or the beginning of the 5th century AD Cathedral of St. Mary of the Assumption, completed in 1726 Christianity has been present in Ceuta continuously from late antiquity, as evidenced by the ruins of a basilica in downtown Ceuta and accounts of the martyrdom of Street. Daniel Fasanella and his Franciscans in 1227 during the Almohad Caliphate. The town's Grand Mosque had been built over a Byzantine-era church. In 1415, the year of the city's conquest, the Portuguese converted the Grand Mosque into Ceuta Cathedral. The present form of the cathedral dates to refurbishments undertaken in the late 17th century, combining Baroque and neoclassical elements. It was dedicated to St. Mary of the Assumption in 1726. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Ceuta was established in 1417. It incorporated the suppressed Diocese of Tangier in 1570. The Diocese of Ceuta was a suffragan of Lisbon until 1675, when it became a suffragan of Seville. In 1851, Ceuta's administration was notionally merged into the Diocese of Cádiz and Ceuta as part of a concordat between Spain and the Holy See. The union was not actually accomplished, however, until 1879. Small Jewish and Hindu minorities are also present in the city. Roman Catholicism is the largest religion in Ceuta. In 2019, the proportion of Sudans that identify themselves as Roman Catholic was 70. 0%, the next largest religion was Islam. Like Malia, Ceuta attracts African migrants who try to use it as an entry to Europe. As a result, the enclave is surrounded by double fences that are 6 meters high, and hundreds of migrants congregate near the fences waiting for a chance to cross them. The fences are regularly stormed by migrants trying to claim asylum once they enter Ceuta. The University of Granada offers undergraduate programs at their campus in Ceuta. Like all areas of Spain, Ceuta is also served by the National University of Distance Education. Primary and secondary education is possible only in Spanish however a growing number of schools are entering the bilingual education program. Ceuta is twinned with the government of Morocco has repeatedly called for Spain to transfer the sovereignty of Ceuta and Melilla, along with uninhabited islets such as the islands of Al Husmas. Velas and the Perihel Island, drawing comparisons with Spain's territorial claim to Gibraltar. In both cases, the national governments and local populations of the disputed territories reject these claims by a large majority. The Spanish position is that both Ceuta and Melilla are integral parts of Spain, and have been since the 16th century, centuries prior to Morocco's independence from France in 1956. Whereas Gibraltar, being a British overseas territory, is not and never has been part of the United Kingdom. Morocco has claimed the territories are colonies. One of the chief arguments used by Morocco to reclaim Ceuta comes from geography, as this exclave, which is surrounded by Morocco in the Mediterranean Sea, has no territorial continuity with the rest of Spanish territory. This argument was originally developed by one of the founders of the Moroccan East Aquil party, Alal El Fasi, who openly advocated the Moroccan conquest of Ceuta and other territories under Spanish rule. On December 21, 2020, following the affirmations of the Moroccan Prime Minister, Saadadine Othmani stating that Ceuta and Melilla are Moroccan as the Sahara, is, Spain urgently summoned the Moroccan ambassador to convey that Spain expects all its partners to respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of its territory in Africa and asked for explanations of Othmani's words. Thanks for watching.